All this week on Dateline Schools, we're talking about reading, and we're taking a look at the new reading law that kicks in for Michigan students, especially for those kids in second grade this year, as they're going to be the first group that to be affected by this when it comes time for third grade. And to tell us more about it, my special guest is Brenda Tenniswood. She's the general education director here at St. Clair County Reese and Brenda, I'm sure like with any program that's implemented, we're going to identify some of those kids who are at, at risk for not being able to meet the requirements of the new law. What what things are in place or being put into place to help those students? Absolutely. We want to identify students with plenty of time so that we can, you know, they can get extra help, bottom line. We want them to be proficient. So there are a number of state uh, steps actually that are uh, written into the law that districts and schools and many of these steps we've already been doing for quite a while but one of them that parents may not be familiar with is something called an IRIP and we love acronyms in education <laughs> this stands for an individual reading improvement plan so basically a plan of how teachers and parents are going to work together to help the student uh, succeed and so uh, an IRIP is created after a student has been uh, screened they've had some assessments that said oh there's some need here and in the plan it will map out what intervention so what support what help is a student going to get over what time period and then it's also going to offer the parents some suggestions so local schools have been doing this for quite a while so it might be called in districts something uh, somewhat different so it might be a child study team we've got snack teams so there are a number of different names or acronyms that are but in the bottom line it's all about what are the students needs what how are we going to target our instruction to meet those needs and then how can we how do we want the parents to work alongside us this is going to kind of i don't want to say force the teachers but get the teachers at the various grade levels to be working a little more closely together too in that. absolutely i would say one of the the positive benefits of this law is the conversation that it's sparking from K-3 along the grade level. So the kindergarten and first grade teachers are talking, the first and second, and the second and third, and then third to fourth and so on. And I think teachers have always collaborated across grade levels, but I think this is, this is raising new urgency. And also, if a student has been on an individual reading improvement plan one year and they've been successful, we want them to continue to be successful. So sharing what worked for that child is also going to be critically important. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.